You make my head look really big. <gasps> Are you hungry? <laughs> Lambing has begun. It basically started Saturday. Today is Tuesday. I think 26 have lambed in four days. She's a first time lammer, so she's a little crazy. Okay. Okay. Gonna help you out. Baby. This is the part I hate. Come on, lady. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Stop walking on it. There it is. Oh. She's in shock. We have lift off. Sometimes they just go into shock and then it takes them a while to calm down and then if you're lucky they accept the lamb. I'm feeding um there's one ewe that just looks pretty short on milk supply, so I am actually just gonna supplement those lambs. And I have a little oh I should show you. I should show you one. Three and a half pounds. You make my head look really big. Are you hungry? I'm gonna be very. Kind of look like a drunk man. So this mum had four. So she's a first timer. That doesn't usually happen. Usually they have one, maybe two. And she had quads, and this is just a little bit of an afterthought, I think. So she never really did accept it. It kind of wandered off, I think. And so she's nursing three all by herself. I haven't helped with them, but this one I couldn't... It had the will to live. If it has the will to live, it gets to live. I mean, I help it live. I want them all to live. Some of them I just work a little harder. When a ewe is lambing, they go from being really, really full and high. They sit up really high. If you look at this ewe, I don't know if you can see her. Her belly sits up really high, so she's really full and wide. And if you see that black one, it's hard to see her. It all drops. So her, she would be like really gant through there and then really full down here. I love it when they do that and I can draw pretendly on them. The next thing you typically see is they start to pace, they start to paw at the litter, they nest a bit, circle and circle and circle, and then usually you'll see that mucus plug come out. So that's a real uh, discharge thick, real thick mucus discharge first. It comes out and then shortly after that you should start to see a water bay and then you should see feet front feet. If the feet are like that, like back feet, 
then you need to help usually. But if they come out like this, and then you should see a nose. If you don't see the nose, you only see feet. And sometimes the head can be like squished sideways back. And then you gotta kind of go in there, pull the head so it comes in and out. Sometimes you only see the head. And you gotta get in there too because you need the feet. Because the head will just swell up because she can't get the feet are probably back. She gotta get the feet out. Typically they do it on their own, but sometimes, especially with you lambs, they aren't very big yet because they've never had one, so they're not really loose in the caboose, if you know what I'm saying. Um, some of them just need a little bit of lube, and sometimes they just need some help just getting a leg out or getting the head kind of started. And then they usually pop out. They don't know what's going on either, which makes first time lambing a little bit stressful. <laughs> Good start to lambing, um, but there's still 50 to go. That second black one just had her baby. I left it alone, which kills me. When I see it coming out, I want to pull it out, but they seem to be bonding better if I just stay clear. If they're coming out normal, I gotta train myself to just let nature take its course. <laughs> She won't follow, so I'll have to guide her. You cute, though. This is the rodeo. Eagle has landed. She's not happy about it, but she loves her baby.